Hey there guys, I got kind of a special video for you today. I'm going to be creating a shiny Ninetales in Minecraft. Now even if you aren't a fan of Minecraft, I do hope you stick around for the entire video as I do have a few announcements to go over. But first let me talk about what exactly I am making. Obviously if you're a fan of Pokemon you probably know who this is by now, but Ninetales is a Pokemon from the first generation series. They are normally all white or goldish foxes with a splash of orange, but a lot of times I find the shiny version more interesting and they are definitely more unique as well. In this case the shiny version is all white with splashes of purple, pink, and blue. For this build, I found an official sprite image from one of the games and then selected a color scheme to follow, made from Minecraft wool blocks. Now I chose to take on this project for two main reasons, and the first is that Ninetales has always been one of my favorite Pokemon. The other reason I chose to do this project is because I actually wanted to dedicate it to a special friend of mine. She was the one that really got me into making these pixel art images in Minecraft by showing me how much fun creating and working on them can be. We had made a few shiny Pokemon together, so I thought this would be a good way to say thanks to her. Alright, so let's get on to the announcements now. First and foremost, I just got a brand new widescreen monitor. Before, I was actually using a really old monitor that I received for free, and it had a really strange aspect ratio of 5-4, which led to some weird resolutions in games. But with this new monitor, I can now record in full 1080 HD, so everything should look that much better in any of my future content that I put out. I'm not sure how many of you are aware, but I primarily livestream on Twitch more than I do work on YouTube. I'll link my Twitch account in the top corner if you want to check it out. For me, it's just so much easier to stream everything rather than having to record the footage, render it out, and then upload it to YouTube. However, that doesn't mean at all I'm going to stop putting out videos on YouTube, it just means that it's easier for me to stream. So if you ever have some free time, feel free to stop by. Everyone in chat is super friendly and nice, and we have some really fun times. I usually stream around 5 times a week, and for about 4 to 5 hours each night when I do. As for my future plans on YouTube, I've completely finished the Bioshock series and I'm just uploading the last few episodes. It was really fun for me to play, and I hope you guys check it out. Next, I'm going to be doing a Let's Play of Resident Evil 6 and Cave Story, probably around the same time, so you can look forward to that. As for Borderlands 2, I've played and did stream the Tiny Tina DLC, and will definitely be including new content from the DLC on my channel. My Psycho is currently level 50, and I'll probably stream him playing through the DLC sometime soon, so if you haven't seen it, you can definitely check that out in the future. I also plan on finishing up my Raid Boss series on Zero pretty soon, and then I'll make a new series on how to solo each of the bosses on the Psycho using Melee. Finally, I do plan on making more Minecraft videos in the future, whether they are builds like these, or just me playing through adventure maps or things like that. I recently did some really fun maps with some friends on the stream and had a blast doing so. So that's pretty much it for the announcements. I just want to go ahead and give you guys a huge thank you for everything so far. I have almost 400 subscribers on YouTube in the few short months that I've been doing this, and over 250 followers on Twitch already. I'll probably make a special video when I hit 500 subscribers on YouTube, and I'm really looking forward to that. So doing this Pokemon build has brought back a lot of great memories from when I was a kid. I remember when I was younger, before everyone had phones and stuff like that, or computers, I would stay up late at night and read a book or play on my Game Boy. My parents' bedroom was right next to mine, so they would always know if I had the lights on past bedtime. In order to hide this fact, I would stay up in the dark, underneath the covers, and try to read books with a flashlight or something, and the same goes for when I played on my Game Boy. Back then, the Game Boys didn't have backlights yet, so you would still need a flashlight to see the screen. I remember spending many nights awkwardly trying to hold the flashlight and the Game Boy at the same time. Sometimes I would try to jam the flashlight in a pillow, or try to hold it with my neck. However, I never regretted it, and I had so many great memories now from doing so. Another memory I had with the Pokemon game was kind of on the opposite side of the spectrum. I was playing through for the first time, and I remember trekking through the Self Company Tower in Saffron City. And if you guys remember this place, it was an 11 floor tower full of trainer battles, it had a rival battle, and a boss fight at the end. And that's not to mention all the numerous teleportation puzzles scattered throughout the entire thing. I spent a good 4 or 5 hours, I believe, trying to crawl my way through this place one day, and right after I finished it was time for dinner. Well, in that time, my mom had gotten angry at me for playing all day, so she took my Game Boy and turned it off so I would come sit down at the table. Unfortunately, I never saved the game the entire time, and when I realized this, I got really upset, and I remember thinking that I would never be able to get back through that place again, and I wasn't really thinking rationally. Of course, though, after a few days passed, you know, I, I kind of forgot about it and slowly grinded my way back through the tower. However, it taught me a very important lesson about games without autosaves, and that's save often. I have so many other great memories from the Pokemon franchise, including the show, obviously, um, going to the movies, the toys, and of course the trading card game. However, that might be a discussion for another time, as I could go on for hours talking about them. So if you guys have any suggestions for a Minecraft build that's within reason, feel free to say it in the comments, and I might give it a go in a future video. I really enjoy doing these pixel arts, as I find it really relaxing and calming to do sometimes. Make sure you guys stay until the end of the video to check out the final product. I think it turned out really awesome, and it's one of my favorite things that I've done in Minecraft. And thanks for watching.